Welcome to the channel, guys. Today we're going to use Sincala and DaVinci Resolve to sync up a wedding. Um, so we're gonna have several tracks of video and many, many tracks of audio. So let's see how we get this done. Um, the first thing you wanna do is get all your files in one bin, which we already have right now. Um, so you take a look here. We got everything all in one bin. Um, the first thing I like to do is highlight everything, disregard this ceremony multicam because that's gonna come on this step right here. So you're gonna right click, select all the files that you want in the multicam sequence, right click, select create new multicam clip using selected clips. And you're probably wondering why would we do this? Well, we're gonna use this as kind of a placeholder to put our timeline from, our sync timeline from Syncala into this so we can use the multicam tools. All right, so uh, typically I'll rename this ceremony. Now I've already done this, so I'm not gonna hit create, but you would. Now keep this angle sync at end because we're not really using DaVinci Resolve to sync anything. We're just using it, like I said, as a placeholder. And so hit create, that'll only take a second. I'm gonna hit cancel because I've already done this. But you would hit create, and then you're gonna get, you're gonna get this um, ceremony you know, timeline or sequence, if you will. So now that you've created that multicam sequence or the fake multicam sequence, you're gonna go back to your bin with all the files in for the ceremony and you're gonna to wanna to drag them all in to one timeline, okay? So each camera angle is going to get its own track. As you can see, camera A is on track three, camera C is on track two, and camera um, B is on track one, and then all your audio tracks. So I have two lav mics that record du dual level, as well as um, my sound recorder, which is the Mix Pre 2 that's hooked into the soundboard. So I'm gonna put all those on individual tracks. All right, so now that you've done that, um, you're going to go up to File, Export, AAF XML and you can change the name to ceremony test and then hit save. I've already done that so I'm going to hit cancel but you hit save. All right now now that that's done you're going to want to get into Syncala. So let's get that open. Go right up here to the left hand corner and hit import XML find the XML or the timeline you just exported, click on that, click open. Now you can see that you have the exact same um, timeline in Syncala as DaVinci Resolve. Exactly the same, unsynced. So you can also choose your quality here. So you can do very fast, fast, advanced, optimal. I just leave it on optimal, it's worked pretty well for me. Hit synchronize, it's gonna calculate and now it's done. So it's synchronized those 13 different tracks. Go to export. Now, I've already done it, but when you export it, it's automatically gonna add dash sync to it, okay? So hit save. And now you wanna come back into Resolve since you have your timeline synced. Um, your next, you're gonna want to just get into a new timeline, or never mind. you don't have to do that. Just go up to file and then go import timeline, import XML or AF, EDL, XML. Okay, let's find the timeline we just synced. Ceremony test dash synced. Click on that, click open. You don't really need to change anything in here. Um, hit okay. This is a duplicate, so I'm gonna change it. I'm just gonna add a letter and then hit okay. You won't have to do that. So now you can see everything's in your timeline, all right? I like to go ahead and hit Control A, Control B to cut all this extra stuff before my camera started or camera, my first camera angle started. Hit Shift Backspace and then go here. Con hit Control A, Control B. And I'm gonna delete all the stuff 
after. All right. Now, if we look at our timeline, we can see that everything we need is here and everything is all synced up. All right, so next you wanna go um, into where you sync your uh, multicam sequence that you synced up. I'm gonna add a timeline here. I'm gonna take this ceremony from when I, we synced it up, but we didn't actually sync anything up. It's just a placeholder. Do not drag over in the right hand side, drag into your left hand side of the timeline or where all the track numbers are and muting and all that stuff. So drag it over here. All right, so now you can see that's the unsynced timeline right here. We're gonna hit Control All Backspace to delete all that. We're gonna take take our synced tracks and copy them in here instead. And then we're gonna add another timeline. Take our ceremony and drag it into this part of the timeline or the right hand section so we can actually see our multi-clan clips. And you can go here, click on multi-cam, and then I like to go here. I don't need to see the audio tracks. Hit two by two. Now we have all three angles synced up. Look at that. Perfect. All right, now what I also like to do is delete the audio here. Go back to my synced up tracks. Hit control C, come back here, control V. So now everything is synced or you know, everything is here with the audio as well so I can mix it up with my multicam sequence. And we can change our view by clicking here and then come in here. And now we can see everything synced up with our different audio tracks, our two lav mics, and the mix free, all that good stuff. Everything's here, ready to go. And you wanna go up here, right click, rename. I usually name this Ceremony MC. This is what I'm gonna use to sync up and re to pick my angles as well as, you know, mix my audio. Well, that's pretty much how you use Syncala to sync up your Multicam sequences. If you have any questions, definitely leave them in the comments. I will try to get to them. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe. I'll have more filmmaking content, more Resolve wedding type content. Um, thanks.